So a lot of people always ask, Rita, how did you get started? You have this big mountain to climb. I have a lot of clients who come to me with 30, 40, 50 pounds, 60 pounds to lose. And it's a really daunting task to start off from. You know, how do you start? Where do you, where do you get your motivation? You start, you know, on Monday and by Friday, we start again because, you know, we've self-sabotaged or something has gotten in the way. And I think it's really important instead of seeing that big final destination, it's actually picking little, as cheesy and cliche as it sounds, little goals along the way. So pick a, a daily goal, pick a weekly goal. Maybe that daily goal is to actually get 20 minutes of activity into your life. And you can start putting that in a daily schedule. Maybe it's increasing your water and taking out pop. Um, you know, don't jump on social media and see what all those fitness people are doing and thinking, oh my God, I have to cut grains and I have to cut this and I have to become a vegan and I have to become, you know, to get the results. No, you don't. You need to see where you are at your life and pick one small goal daily. And once you get to that one goal of two pounds, then onwards and upwards and keep going, keep going. And you'll notice that this journey becomes why you decided to start. It's not about the final destination, it's about the journey. Because a lot of times, you get to that final destination and you still want more, and things change, and you're still not happy. So don't look for, don't type in motion into it, don't look to happiness with, um, with that final goal. Look to where you are now, make changes now, make small sustainable changes. Don't look for that diet that you're gonna lose 10 pounds in 10 days because you're gonna put it back on. It's guaranteed. Look for the small changes that are sustainable over a lifetime. So make it a lifestyle change. And that's my biggest tip for everybody who doesn't know where to start. And into today's workout, it's a really good one. My heart rate's gonna get up, so come along with me. We're gonna start with a rear lunge kick. I always love these rear lunge kicks, um, all on the same leg. You're really gonna feel the burn. Not on the leg that you're working, but on that stationary leg because it has all the weight load on it. We're gonna take our bar, keep it up overhead so we also get in some upper body work and some core work. Here we go. We're gonna grab our bar, bring it up safely overhead, shoulders back, chest proud. You're gonna lock out those elbows so I don't want any of this. Okay, and you're gonna go right back into your rear lunge and into a kick. And we're gonna do 15 reps, so here we go. The bar is actually helping your body to stay nice and straight. And concentrate, or you might fall off balance like I just did. Nice tight core will keep you there. It's burning, that left leg should be burning right now. Four more, three, two, one. Good job, we're gonna put the bar down and we're gonna go right into really low ass to grass squats, excuse my language. We wanna get your bum all the way down on this ball here and keeping your upright, your body upright. So I don't wanna see any of this, that doesn't count. So I like to put my hands behind my head for this one. Go all the way down till you touch that ball, keeping your body as upright as possible, bum behind you, like you're sitting on the toilet, isn't that great, four, three, heels down, weight in those heels, and one, as if that wasn't enough leg work, we got to go do now the other leg, we're going to pick our bar back up again, should be breathing quite heavily by now, Lock those elbows out, and this time we're going to rear, rear lunge kick with the left leg. So your right leg is going to get all of the weight load. Here we go. And concentrate, and kick. Breathing heavy is not just a special effect, folks. When you concentrate on the breathing, it takes your mind off of the pain because trust me there is no gain without any pain nothing easy is worthwhile i always tell myself these mantras while i work out gets me through it three two one good job and yes we have to go down to the toilet seat again 
Here we go. And 10, nine, chest high ladies, nice tight core, belly button to spine, shoulders back, chest proud. And four, three, two, and one. You think we're done, but we're not. I wish we were done, but we're not. So onto some wood chops. We gotta get some core in there and a little more upper body work. We're gonna do them with our pink sandbag. And we're gonna do one side at a time to really get one side done before we get to the next. Here we go. And you get a little bit of leg in there as well. Shoulder work, core, body upright. And other side. Here we go. Five more. It's burning. And if it's not, you're doing it wrong. And slam. Awesome job, everybody. Really tough workout. I'm glad we got through it together. If you're a beginner, Give that two to three times, I know you can do it. Minimal rest, just make sure that you hydrate in between. If you're a little bit more intermediate, let's try for four to five rounds. And for you advanced athletes, nothing less than five rounds, right? Nothing easy is, nothing worthwhile is easy. You know what I mean? There's no can't do. There's always, 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 you know, there might be, I won't say always, uh, 99% of the time there's an option to change. So, you know, if you're doing this move here and you can't get in that kick, well, just go into a toe touch. So if you're not quite there on the uh, agility and the balance yet, well, you work on that rear lunge until those legs are strong enough and you go in and you toe touch. If you can't get all the way down to that ball, guess what you do? You get a foam book and you put the ball on top of the foam book. So each week you can actually see how low you're going. After a couple of weeks of trying, you take that phone book out, voila, you'll probably be able to get a little bit lower. So challenge yourself. Those visual markers will really help you um, grasp your progress.